Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Del Sol Valley and we're building an arts center. And what's new about today's video is two things. The first is that I'm building in Del Sol Valley, which is not only something I've never done on this channel before, but it's also something I've never done before, like ever. In the sims 4 so yeah this was my first build ever in del sol valley and the second thing is that it's an art center i don't remember building an art center before and honestly it wasn't planned like that but it being an art center made the most sense for this for this build I contemplated making it as a bar or as a museum, but I went for Art Center because it allows you to, or not allows you, it requires the addition of a bar, and this build does have both a bar and like an art exhibition in the interior. So this build is based on a real life building well not based actually it's just inspired by it and it's palacio de cristal in madrid spain which is an uh, which is basically reserved for art exhibitions so that's where i got the whole idea initially for uh, making it as an art center and I'm gonna put down a picture for you. You can see that they have some similarities, but it's not entirely based on it. And the real building is almost completely made of glass, except for the iron framework. And it's also set on a brick base or a brick foundation, which is kind of what I did in The Sims, but instead of brick, I went for stone. So those are the differences and the similarities between the two builds, both in real life and in The Sims 4. And I figured since today's video is a very short one, I was going to do a short voiceover, a full voiceover, but a short one. And I haven't done a full voiceover in such, such a long time. I don't even remember when was the last video where I did a full voiceover, so this should be interesting. I, I kind of forgot how to do these. Like, I, I don't know what to say or how I could do these before and talk for like 20 minutes straight or even more sometimes. So we'll, we're gonna see how this is gonna go. If you're hearing a lot of background noise, I'm sorry about that, but you know, I live in Dubai, the AC's on, there's like a lot of uh, white noise and, and stuff. So yeah, plus I'm also recording this voiceover in the evening. It's currently like, 8 p.m. 8 30 and that's this is the only time i i could record this voice over because these days i'm doing like morning shifts at work so i get off work early and that's the only time i can do a voiceover and all of their roommates are in the apartment right now so yeah but anyway so this is a huge lot in Del Sol Valley. I don't remember if it's 50 by 50 or 64 by 64, but I, I think it's 50 by 50. But this is originally the lot that um, has the, the Thorn Bailey family. I think that's what they're called, Thorn Bailey. Yeah, so I just bulldozed their house and and built this in its place. The actual structure doesn't really take up that much of the space. It just takes a very small portion 
of it and most of the space is occupied by just the landscaping so yeah and I absolutely love the landscaping of this build it's very simple like none of it was complicated but at the same time it looks very well planned and sophisticated and for the interior it's basically just one huge open space in the middle there is a fountain and some statues around it and those are like part of the display for this um, art exhibition and behind this area here there is the bar and I also think I made um, I put the cafe island thing so like on one side it's a bar and on the other it's a cafe and I used the spoon set a lot for that from Hey Harry because it comes with these really cute like baked, baked goodies and I absolutely love those and then we have two sections on either side of this middle section here um, I don't really remember which one is which but the left section is probably the art art center art exhibition uh, part of the build which is basically just a bunch of paintings uh, some of them are placed just like on the floor and the others are placed on some canvases uh, sorry on easels painting easels and there are some benches so your sims can sit and and watch the art and then on the other section we have the tables that your sims can sit on and enjoy the drinks that they ordered from the cafe or from the bar and you can also turn this into a restaurant if you want it's totally possible but you have to figure out a place to to place the the kitchen because there isn't really an area that's closed to put the kitchen in and i i initially forgot to include a bathroom in the floor plan so this is where i kind of fixed it and added this closed um, section to add the bathroom and on either side there is also this beautiful like um, lush greenery part in the middle and I absolutely love that it really makes the interior feel more natural and open so yeah this lot is very versatile in my opinion it can work as an art center like I made and it works as a cafe or as a bar or as a restaurant and I, I think even as a museum I don't know what the specifics are for each of those lot types but whatever it is you can edit the lot and add the rest of the requirements that are missing from this also this video is a few days late because I didn't really have any time to edit the video I was uh, really busy with work and I this is actually the fourth time editing this video the the video that you're seeing right now is the fourth time I've edited this build the same footage because oh my god the the app that I use for for editing my videos was just not rendering it, it was not rendering it was refusing to render the video so I had to delete the project three times and re-edit everything and then re-render and I don't know why that keeps happening but it has been happening a lot 
recently with that app. It's, uh, yeah, it's really pissing me off. So I hope they fix that because I, I really like that app. I don't want to have to rely on a different app or or to to use my laptop because I, I don't think it can handle the editing, honestly. That's why also I'm not entirely happy with the editing on this video. I, I know it looks a little weird. There are a lot of parts that were completely cut out, especially from the exterior part. And that's because like by the time I reached the fourth time of re-editing the video, I was just so sick and tired of having to re-edit the same footage all over again so yeah i'm very sorry about that if it looks weird if it doesn't look as good as my other videos that is why my next video is gonna be a steampunk build and that's actually the build that won in the August poll on Patreon that my patrons voted on. So if you're supporting me on Patreon tier 2 and above, you can actually vote on one build or probably more, like two builds each month that will that I'm going to build and publish the speed builds for on my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can have that option, but just for tier 2 and above. So yeah, that's all I had to say for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it's a short one and I hope to see you again in my next one. If you want to download this, you're going to find the tree files and CC links on my Patreon for free as usual and on CurseForge. And you're also gonna find this on my gallery. My ID is the same as my channel name. And thank you again for watching. Bye.